a lot of it will depend upon the noise levels and uh, the network. Uh, network, we can't do much about that at the moment, but noise levels we all can, right? So, uh, so this is how the home screen looks like. So this is how the home screen looks like. And towards the end of uh, this, this small demo, you will all get a chance to, you know, have your hands-on experience on this. So, as I said, the first set of commands would be voice commands, and let's see if uh, the system can open and close the something for us. Uh, before any any command that we give, we need to wake up the system. So we'll say hello, MG. Right? Hello, MG. Open sunroof. So you see that, I mean we have an animation over here, but in the actual scenario you can see uh, that the sunroof of your car is Alright, uh, likewise we can give another command to close the sunroof, we'll just try that. Hello MG. Close sunroof. So, uh, Oh, hi, we have the animation over here. On your car, you will see the sunroof. We will try another small command. Let's say we are trying to open the, the driver window. Hello, MG. Open the window on the driver side. So, this is how it uh, operates. Now, uh, the next set of commands are to do with the AC system. Uh, you can see that the temperature is right now at about 25 degrees Celsius, the setting, and the blower speed is at about 3. Uh, so, the first thing that we want to set is the temperature, right? So, we, we walk, in, walk into a car and we sit in the car. So, we give the command. Hello, MG. Set temperature to 20 degrees. Yeah, so now you can see it has moved down from 25 degrees to 20 degrees. Similar is what we can do for blower. We can give commands like highest fan speed, lowest fan speed. So we can try that as well. Hello, MG. Highest fan speed. So you can see that the blower speed has moved from 3 to 8 right now. And you can manually also operate it. You can tap onto either the AC button or the, the temperature button or the, uh, the blower. This is how the interface looks like. You can manually also adjust. Let's say you want to take it up to 25 manually. You can do that. Let's say you want to adjust your blower to let's say level 3. You can do that. All right. Uh, next, uh, we'll move on to you know uh, a very important uh, uh, feature, which is you know using the navigation. So I'll just show you how we start the navigation. Uh, we have some GPS and network connectivity issues, so I might not be able to show you the entire uh, functionality of uh, the map. But how how is that we are accessing the map? Hello, MG. Hi. Open navigation. Start navigation. Start navigation. So it takes a little while for the app because the app is a little heavy. So, so you can see, I mean, if you want to like zoom in further, although you can do it manually using the pinch, uh, the pinching of your fingers, but if you want to give a command because the whole intention is that you guys don't leave your uh, your hands off the steering and create an unsafe condition. Hello, MG. Zoom in map to the maximum. So it just zooms in. Alright. Bring it back. You can you know man manually move it around. And now I'll move on to the, the online music side. So we provide an online ad-free premium account to the users uh, where you have unlimited streaming apart from that uh, we are also from mg side we are pushing in some 10 video songs and these video songs will be will be refreshed periodically over the air 
I mean, uh, so there will be no physical intervention. So we'll be updating those video songs over the internet. Uh, so I'll just take you through how the app looks like. The Ghana app, as I spoke about, we have, we have partnered with Ghana on this. I'll just switch on the music mode. It just takes some few seconds for it to buffer, yeah, so you can get it. And as I said, we will also push on uh, 10 video uh, songs, right? So you can see a file folder over here. Uh, you will, in, in, when, when you see the actual car, you will have more videos to it, but right now we have just pre fed about two videos. So maybe you can play that. Have this uh, iSmart app, which all the users will get. Uh, right now, it is not synced in. I mean, these two are not talking to each other. So, uh, but when we have the car ready, you will have this pairing automatically happening with the head unit. So this is how uh, the app looks like. Um, there is a central lock feature where you can, uh, you know, lock or unlock the car. You can operate your AC. You can operate your sunroof and, and the tailgate. And you have some other features like remote control, travel. Maybe you can pre-feed uh, through your app as to where from point A to point A where, where do you want to travel. And the moment you enter your car, maybe uh, <coughs> uh, you can automatically this syncs in and the map opens up over there. Right. So as I said, it's not synced in right now. It's uh, still in the nascent stage. So this is how the interface would, would uh, look like and all the users will have this.